With the Mac Mini you don't have to worry about specifications. When you use it um, as an entertainment computer, you're not going to be doing heavy work uh, on that. So even the most basic version of the Mac Mini is enough for uh, surfing the net, watching a video, streaming video, listening to your music, every uh, function that you will need from um, the Mac Mini to work as an entertainment computer will be enough with uh, with the most basic, uh, with the entry point version of the Mac Mini. So, uh, um, like I said, this computer here has been running for six years and even uh, the processor from that time is still very good. It's not slow, not every anything, it's very good. So the feature I like a lot is that, for example, before I would look to have a digital time frame to put on my desks to uh, show uh, uh, the pictures of the trips I've made. Um, with uh, the Mac Mini, the feature I like is that when I'm not using my computer, I can run uh, the screensaver and I can use uh, I can use the pictures that I have in my collection from my trips or just pictures in general and um, my TV works as a huge digital frame and um, I always like to have that and um, you can also display the clock on the on the screen and uh, so it's informative and it looks very nice the only thing that you may need require in your configuration with your Mac Mini is if you like to download a lot of movies or music you might need extra storage but for that you can buy additional hard drives and you can just connect them to your main computer and uh, you can get like one terabyte hard drives and you can keep adding them as you need them you have four additional USB ports so you can have as many as four um, uh, external hard drives that will suffice for your storage necessities so that's why I think uh, this is the the best way you can uh, take advantage of uh, your TV and um, a computer and a web browser and really make it a smart system not only a smart TV like here for example um, with uh, your full browser like uh, Safari here uh, you can you have Netflix available so you can watch any movie that you want and um, you have also like uh, a full browser uh, if you want to uh, look for um, a specific uh, stuff on the internet you can browse it and you can uh, look at it in a, a, a lot bigger size than just a computer and you can do this all the way uh, from your couch here you have all your options from uh, your regular computer in a much bigger size like if you need your calendar if you need to look for uh, on the map Nowadays, uh, with the latest version of uh, the Mac OS software, it is possible that if you want to look for a location in a map, you look for it and you can look for it here on your TV and then look for a destination, get uh, the directions for it and then transfer them to your phone um, and uh, do all this kind of work uh, directly from your TV, like having your computer uh, connected to it and uh, which otherwise wouldn't be possible. If you already have a subscription nowadays to uh, your cable TV, most of the broadcasting companies in their website, they have uh, online content that you can access and um, that way you can uh, um, access to uh, TV shows that um, they normally are available on the website for one day after they aired originally on the uh, channel uh, broadcasting uh, website so uh, you don't need to uh, it's a very good option as well to look at the watch TV uh, shows uh, from your computer there are uh, also specific uh, streaming uh, websites like for example I follow tennis TV you get a subscription and then you get all the TV tournaments are covered and uh, I get TV coverage all year long and through my computer you can access YouTube, you can watch any videos from YouTube as well. And this is the biggest feature that I like about having a computer connected to my TV. Here is uh, iTunes, I have uh, all my uh, music collections right here. This is a feature I like to have uh, if I have uh, a computer that I use uh, for playing music uh, in a social event. Like for example if you uh, are uh, 
playing your music, I'm going to show it's called a visualizer. So when you play the song and you chose you choose to watch uh, to see the visualizer, it adds a very nice effect uh, to uh, your music when it's playing. It uh, adds visual effects. Uh, it syncs with uh, the rhythm of your music and it adds uh, visual uh, effects uh, to your uh, playlist, which I think it's very nice. So you can just uh, play your song. I was going to show how the visualizer shows when a song plays, but um, I guess I cannot do that due to a copyright infringement. So I'm going to have to skip that part. Also, if I'm listening to music on my uh, TV in the living room, I like to use uh, the app remote, which allows me to... Uh, this is connected to my playlist. Um, So this is the music that I have in my uh, computer and I'm accessing it through my uh, phone with the remote app. Um, these songs here are not in my phone, are in my computer and I can access them from um, remotely. And so you choose here your uh, playlists and then um, you can just play here your song. For a little bit more details on that, you can look at uh, the past couple of videos which was uh, using um, AirPlay uh, for listening to music. I have a couple of uh, videos that I already made for that and I, ex I talk a little bit more and I explain how AirPlay works and uh, it's a great setup to have with your Mac Mini computer, your uh, TV, your sound system and your iPhone. The one last thing I like to talk about um, uh, when you have your uh, computer set up uh, on your TVs and uh, you have your computer running at home, um, Google has this uh, app which is not also very... Uh, uh, I haven't seen it very advertised and it's a very nice app to have. So here it's, uh, it's called Chrome Remote. With this little app here it lets you uh, connect uh, to your computers at home from wherever you are. So uh, once you set it up, these are my two computers that I have set up at home. So uh, when you select it, uh, you set it up so that you uh, um, uh, connect to each uh, computer. So you set it up so that you can connect to um, each one of your computers. It will ask you to create a little password. Uh, you enter it and then that's how you connect to each of your computers. So here you have uh, full control of your computer at home. What you see here, if somebody was uh, right there in your, in your living room, they would see uh, the cursor of your uh, computer uh, moving like uh, crazy and by itself so uh, but um, in fact it's only you that you're controlling your TV your computer from uh, a remote location so this is how uh, it looks uh, uh, your uh, TV interface uh, on your uh, um, smartphone when you use the uh, Google Chrome remote here you have a uh, your mouse interface, you have here your keyboard interface so you can in either uh, interact, write emails, uh, go to website locations and everything on your home computer directly from your phone when you are not at home and you need to access your computer from um, in a remote location. So this is how my computer looks in uh, my living room. Um, I can only see the mouse is uh, scrolling all over the place and here you can see on at the very bottom of uh, the uh, screen there is a little uh, um, letter box that it says uh, your desktop is currently shared with uh, your uh, client at your um, smartphone and then here you can select uh, and you can choose to uh, stop sharing um, and then that kicks uh, that kicks me out from my uh, smartphone and I cannot uh, control the computer anymore. So I have that set up for both of my computers at home. Here from my remote, um, from my smartphone, I can connect uh, to both computers at home. And um, the way it works is as well, uh, like the little mobile mouse app, you need a client program, which is your app in your uh, phone, which is uh, this, the Chrome remote. 
and um, you need also a little server program running on your computer that you want to control at home um, each one uh, like this uh, so that it sees them uh, and they have to be on all the time uh, at home so that uh, they are available on your Wi-Fi and you ha you can connect through your Google account to your uh, computers. So the way you set up uh, your Chrome remote service for, uh, in your computer that you want to uh, control, you have to go to your computer at home and then here uh, you go to the left corner of your uh, Google browser and then on top corner or if you have Google Chrome running it's even better because then uh, you go to the top corner and you select your apps and then there you will see the apps that you have available to you and then here you can see Chrome Remote Desktop so you have to click on that so once you select um, uh, Chrome Remote Desktop on your web browser it will open um, a screen like this and I already have set up my two computers uh, right here but if you don't have any here's where uh, it says uh, uh, how you can uh, enable your computer for accessing remotely so here it will um, you get this get started button to uh, um, uh, start configuring your computer basically it just asks you for permission to uh, connect your computer it will ask you for a pin code so that you can uh, so that you have to access it from your remote device when you try to connect and that's it you uh, set it up it's connected and then that's all you need from here so uh, just close it up and then now uh, that's it that's all you need now uh, you have the um, Chrome remote service enabled in your desktop and then now you will be able to access it uh, from your remote uh, home device. So that's it. I have talked about um, the Mac Mini, how it makes a great computer to have as a home entertainment computer, how it beats in my opinion any smart TV or any other uh, home uh, entertainment device. Uh, you have a full computer connected to your TV which is great. Um, we have talked about different apps that you can use uh, to make uh, more enjoyable your experience with your computer uh, like the mobile mouse uh, remote app so that you can use uh, your uh, uh, phone um, preferably I think it works also with an Android device but preferably an iPhone so that you can use uh, your uh, phone as your mouse and keyboard and uh, we have talked about uh, the remote app from Apple so that you can interact with your playlist in your computer through uh, uh, your phone and uh, we have also talked about uh, the Google Chrome remote so that um, you can uh, access your computers uh, from anywhere in the world where you are when you need to access your uh, computers back home um, this is the way you can access them. Uh, Google Chrome Remote is a very nice option. Um, if you're interested to uh, t to know more about AirPlay and how uh, you can uh, listen to music using iTunes, your computer and your sound system around the house, take a look at my other videos that I posted about AirPlay. I explain more in detail there how they work and um, I hope you have a better um, uh, idea and uh, you get to like a little bit more um, if you don't already the Mac mini computer as uh, and have it as an option for a home entertainment computer.